This is a video about creating Azure infrastructure using Terraform. This is a video designed to get you up and running quickly. So what is Terraform exactly? Well, it's a tool for building, changing, and versioning your infrastructure safely and efficiently. More than that, it lets you do it cross-platform. In other words, you have a lot of existing service providers that support Terraform, meaning that you can use the exact same kind of recipes or infrastructure templates on various cloud providers. And so it's item potent as well, meaning that after an initial deployment, Terraform is smart enough to know what's different and change those things. And it can be used incrementally uh, as well and apply these execution plans as needed. So let's get into some concepts. Essentially, it's infrastructure as code. And so that means that there's a high level kind of syntax. It's not as low level as say the Azure Resource Manager is. It's, it's higher level abstractions, which means smaller amounts of code. It's a blueprint. And you can version this blueprint just like you were, would in a traditional DevOps environment. And so you can check in your DevOps infrastructure code into version control and version it just like you would your code. And so again, it's about reusing and sharing this infrastructure, perhaps within a department in an organization. So there's a bunch of execution plans here. There's a planning step, which you're going to see. In other words, letting you look at what it's going to do, what it plans to do before you actually doing it. This allows you to validate what you do before you actually apply it. So there's two kind of commands, Terraform plan and then Terraform apply and the apply actually makes the plan real. And this, again, to, it, this is to avoid any surprises when you're provisioning your infrastructure. There's a few things you ought to know here is that there's some SDKs involved with some of the work I've done. In other words, when you want to allow Terraform to provision infrastructure, you need to set up this thing known as a service principle. And setting one of those up is not as straightforward as I would like. I had to go both to the portal and the command line to get it to work. So there's a few components here. Um, of course, you're going to need the Terraform executable, which I'll show you how to download. But then, of course, there's the Azure SDK and the Python SDK. And, you know, I have some detailed instructions you can get um, here. Um, let me just show that to you real quickly. You can simply go to YouTube and do a search for efficiently provis provisioning Kubernetes. Let me just bring you to that URL here. That's what it looks like. It's just a video that shows you how to set up the various toolings you'll need to be, to be successful with Terraform on it. So let's get into all this. Let's start by downloading um, Terraform, talking more about installing the Azure SDK, and then just walk through getting all this set up. Ultimately, what we really want to do by the end of this video is provision a DCOS Azure Container Service Implementation in Azure. That's the end game for this series of videos. So let's begin by downloading the appropriate binaries. And you can find that here at the Terraform website. I have 64-bit Linux here in Ubuntu, so I'm going to just download the Linux one right here, 64-bit. Let's take a closer look. If you've noticed, I've already downloaded it. You can see the zip file here. I unzip that to end up with Terraform. I just did the unzip command. So if I just say um, Terraform by itself, you ought to get a nice reading like that. So the other thing you see here is the actual um, .tf file. This is going to be the definition, the blueprint of what I want to deploy. Let's take a quick look at that. I will be issuing some commands from the Azure cross-platform tooling. And I have a video here on YouTube that shows you how to actually um, do the installation for both the Python SDK for Azure as well as the ordinary cross-platform command line interface. So that's all here on a YouTube video. I'm not going to review it here just for your knowledge in the future. The reason I showed you that is because I want to do an Azure account list to get my subscription ID. And that's this um, GUID you see right here. I'm going to need that inside of the TF file. Now, when I think about the TF file, that is the JSON file that allows me to define the infrastructure that I'm going to provision using Terraform. And this is the layout of that document. Now, as you see over here, subscription ID I've already filled out, 
but the trick is I need a client ID, a client secret, and a tenant ID. Where am I going to get that? I'm going to get that at the portal. Once I've done that, I'm going to define a resource group. Um, you know, when I provision the infrastructure, I'm going to define a network in that infrastructure, in that resource group. So essentially, all this Terraform application is going to do here is create um, a network. And you see this network has three subnets. Very simple, just to demonstrate kind of a hello world for Terraform. Let's get busy now and get these three elements here. So one of the things I, I need to get first is subscription ID. So I'm going to say Azure Account List. That's the Azure Cross-Platform CLI. And it gives me the subscription ID, which is a good first step because if we look at what I really need here is the subscription ID, which I just showed you, but then three more. Let's get into the commands to do and the, the hoops that we have to jump through to get these three items here. Let's go ahead and do that next. So I'm going to issue a command line argument here to create my app. That is now done. Notice the uh, URL here. Um, we got a couple other elements here. We'll be able to go to the portal and get more information about this in just a moment. One of the things we'll need for the next command is this object ID. So let's go ahead and grab that as well. Now for that object, let's go ahead and assign ownership permissions so that it can go ahead and provision infrastructure. Go ahead and type in the command for that. So it's going to be Azure Role Assignment. Create this using the object ID we see above here, which is that E93 GUID. And then dash O here that we're about to add in is for owner. And of course, we need to link in the subscription ID here, which we're just about to do here that we got a moment ago. So it's creating the role assignment, and now we're done. Let's return back to the portal, scroll down here to Azure Active Directory. What we need still is a client secret. So we're going to go search for our application here, the application that we've registered, which is the Bruno Terraform app. So I'm going to click on App Registration, and I'm going to search for Bruno Terraform here. Bruno Terraform. There it is. Click on that. So one of the important GUIDs here is this application ID. A little bit confusing, this is really the client ID. So let's go back to the Terraform app and add that in. Let's go to the appropriate directory and add in the client ID. So go ahead and paste that in. Okay, so let's verify it's 30D ending in 8B ending in 8B. So we're got we've got that. The next is the client secret and the tenant ID. So let's go back to the portal and get the last two here. And for client secret, we'll just simply go to keys here and enter in a key and we'll call this whatever we want. Let's say client secret. We'll make the duration for a year. And when we click Save, we'll actually get the client secret. So let's go ahead and grab this and paste it into our Terraform document. Okay, back to the Terraform document. Um, insert this uh, client secret. And all we need left now is the tenant ID. Okay, excellent. So tenant ID is all the way back here to the left under my Active Directory information. And if I scroll down over here, I'm going to get to properties and it's in properties where I'm going to get that information and here it is the directory ID is really the tenant ID so I'm going to copy that to the clipboard and go and paste that in okay let's paste in the tenant ID and I believe we've got this under wraps now everything we need to start working with Terraform Okay, so we're very close now. Um, one of the things we can do, which is really a nice feature of Terraform, we can actually do a, f a plan to see what is going to be done once we do click on um, the actual implementation here. And it looks like um, 
everything lines up as we would expect before the release. We've got um, the resource group name, production, the type of address space for our network, the various subnets. To me, it looks like we're ready to deploy this um, Terraform app. So at this stage, we are ready to um, actually apply these, the template. And so we just say Terraform apply here. And now it's going to go into Azure and provision this infrastructure now that we've given it the appropriate permissions. So you can see the resources have been added. We're going to go to our resource group production and watch this um, and verify that it exists. So here we are at the portal. I'm going to go to my resource groups and go find the production resource group. So I'll go ahead and search for production. There it is. It does exist. And I would expect to see my networking infrastructure here. And there it is. So this first stab at working with Terraform work, my next step here is to maybe talk a little bit more about the container service and other Azure cloud specific infrastructure that relates to containerization. Now, as you can see at the Terraform site, there is support for the Azure Container Service. We have three options, DCOS, we have Kubernetes, and of course, Swarm here at the end. So for our demonstration purposes today, we're just going to do a DCOS cluster. So I'm going to go back to our portal and edit our file to include that. So as you know, that was the Azure Network um, file. So let's go ahead and maybe rename that to, say, Azure ACS. So I'll say um, move Azure Network to Azure ACS.TF. And we'll go into this file now and just keep the um, provider, but just change the rest of this to reflect what we just saw. So let's go ahead and paste that in here um, into this file. So in order to paste it in, let's go ahead and grab it first. So I'm going to grab from this section down to here and copy this syntax. And now we can go back over here and just paste it in. OK, the only thing that we really need to fix up here is this SSH key, because after all, that is based on my own Linux VM. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead now and grab the SSH key that we will need for so ID rsa.pub. Go ahead and grab it. So I'm just going to take my mouse and grab this whole section here so we can paste it in. OK, go back to our app here. And here is the SSH key. That's now been pasted in. And so let's review what's going to happen here. We're going to have a resource group that's going to essentially encapsulate um, the necessary commands for DCOS. Looks like the resource is going to be called account test container service. Let's go ahead and save this off and do a Terraform plan. Make sure syntactically this looks good and that we agree with what it's going to do. It looks like um, it's not very happy with one of the variables we, we referenced here. It looks like the test location may not be correct. Let's take a closer look here at this. Looks like we're just miss, missing a little section here. Let's go ahead and add that in here. Let's make sure we paste this in correctly by doing a set paste for VI so that it doesn't indent with my smart indent. And that's what we were missing. So really, the um, resource group is going to be here, account test resource group one. And it's going to be in the West US. So let's now quit and try to do um, the uh, command again with a plan and see if it, it turns out correct. Again, st showing you some of the errors here you might encounter just so you know how to debug some of them. It looks now it's complaining about the agent profile pool. Let's take a look there. I suspect there's some type of name collision here for some of the um, prefixes might already be taken. So we're going to go in here and substitute our own names here. So for DNS prefix here, pick something unique here. Um, I'm going to say. Um, 
BT Terraform for my initials. That's pretty unique. For uh, I like to use Azure user for my username. Let's keep scrolling down here. Make sure we stay unique here. Here's a fully qualified fully qualified domain name here. And let's go ahead and provide a DNS prefix here for for example as well. So let's say BT agent. Leave that blank. See if that makes us happy. Okay, let's try to do a plan again. See if we get any closer. The field can't be set for fully qualified domain name. Let's go back once again. See if we just maybe get rid of that. It says it cannot be set. So let's maybe just get rid of it. See if that does us any good. Now go back and do another plan. Thinks, I think it looks a little bit happier now. Yeah, I believe it's working. So let's go ahead now and just apply this. So I'm going to, instead of the word plan, say apply. And let it do its magic. And in just a moment, this will take a few moments to provision. So we'll come back to the portal to see what happened momentarily. I would say about five minutes. Okay, it's finished um, executing. So at this point, I believe we can go look at our resource group and actually see the DCOS cluster um, provision. So you can see here the resource group I'm going to go look for is account test RG1. So let's go do that next. Once we do that, we have verified the entire lifecycle of using a Terraform kind of provisioning infrastructure for us. So here we are back at the portal. I'm going to go ahead and go for resource group and you can see right away the account test resource group um, exists. That's a good sign. It succeeded. And sure enough, we have all the infrastructure of all the various elements of a successful install. You know, everything from the um, load balancers to the master nodes, the agent nodes, networking, everything is here. And this kind of concludes our discussion of Terraform. It successfully provisioned a DCOS cluster using the Azure Container Service. Thank you for watching.